Diary of Samuel Pepys, 16th of October, 1660. This morning my brother Tom came to me, with whom I had made even for my last clothes to this day, and having eaten a dish of anchovies with him in the morning, my wife and I did intend to go forth to see a play at the cockpit this afternoon. But Mr. Moore coming to me, my wife stayed at home, and he and I went out together, with whom I call at the upholsterers and several other places that I had business with, and so home with him to the cockpit, where, understanding that wit without money was acted, I would not stay, but went home by water, by the way reading of the other two stories that are in the book that I read last night, which I do not like so well as it. Being come home, Will told me that my lord had a mind to speak with me tonight. So I returned by water, and coming there, it was only to inquire how the ships were provided with victuals that had to go with him to fetch over the Queen, which I gave him a good account of. He seemed to be in a melancholy humour, which I was told by Will Howe, was for that he had lately lost a great deal of money at cards, which he fears he do too much, addict himself to nowadays. So home by water, and to bed. The 17th of October, 1660. Office day. At noon came Mr. Cree to me, whom I took along with me to the Feathers in Fish Street, where I, were, where I was invited by Captain Cuttons to dinner, a dinner made by Mr. Dawes and his brother. We had two or three dishes of meat well done. Their great design was to get me concerned in a business of theirs, about a vessel of theirs that is in the service hired by the king, in which I promise to do them all the service I can. From thence home again with Mr. Crewe, Mr. Creed in Latham, where I find, where I find in Mrs. The, Mrs. Theophila Turner and her aunt, Duke, I would not be seen, but walked in the garden till they were gone, where Mr. Spong came to me and Mr. Creed. Mr. Spong and I went to our music to sing, and he being gone to my wife, and I went up to put my books in order in a closet, and I to give her her books, after that to bed. <laughs>